Today in the news house, scientists make wine that is hangover proof. Plus, it may help cure cancer. Seriously, the only thing the wine can't do is explain why you slept with that bridge troll in a red dress. I know, I know, it was some dress, but still. No judgy. Genetically engineered news booze. If this no hangover hooch takes off, we'll never have a reason to miss work ever again. Fuck. Fuck. We know. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day where everyone gets good and, well, Irish. But try and shake off that hangover with some Sprite and coconut water. It helps, for real. I promise. And get ready to celebrate again because it's a banner day for science. Yes, indeed, researchers at the University of Illinois have developed an enzyme that can boost the health benefits of wine while decreasing the toxins that cause hangovers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Where was this info yesterday, you ask? Well, we had it, but I was busy drinking and setting leprechaun traps. I even caught one, but he chewed his leg off, and then I spent most of the night tracking a trail of sparkly green blood. But I got him. I f***ing got that little one-legged son of a bitch. He... he begged for his life. Associate Professor Yang Su Jin says that with engineered yeast, you can increase the amount of resveratrol in wine by 10 times or more. BT Dubs, resveratrol is that cancer-fighting antioxidant in wine that makes it healthy-ish. Plus, he even says that you can more precisely manage the types of toxins in the fermentation process that make hangover symptoms worse. So, they've created Super Wine. Cancer-fighting, no hangover, Super Wine. And you know what that means. Well, aside from stopping your liver from writing letters to Amnesty International, Ireland may now finally become a world superpower. Feckin' right. And hopefully finally end uh, ginger apartheid. But probably not. The good professor even claims that with this enzyme and something he calls a genome knife, he can create far safer GMOs. I want to believe, but when I pressed him for more answers, he got angry and threatened to cut me right in the genome. So I dropped it. I let it go. Okay, that is it for the news house. Remember, a few drinks in moderation is a great way to unwind and have a good time with friends. But just like sex with a bridge troll, if you've got to slam back more than three a day, you've got a problem. Two is your healthy limit. Don't forget to click on my whiskey-soaked beard to subscribe to Ask Men for more cool videos daily. Every day. Jump in the old whiskey pit. Give it a click. We'll send you videos. That's a promise.